This building at the corner of 38th and Illinois streets has served many different purposes over the years from a shoe store to a grocery store. But now it is owned by a local nonprofit Kepra Institute and leaders tell me they have big plans to transform the space plans that will directly impact the surrounding community. There's a sign of what's to come on the Concord building in the Butler Tarkington neighborhood. It'll be very welcoming, very open for community to come and sit and gather and talk. Dia Padisa um, took me inside the future home of Kepra's Alchemy Social Enterprise Center. Some of the things that will take place will be one co-working space for entrepreneurs of color, uh, trainings, workshops. The center will be a resource for the community, a vision Diop says residents have for the nearly 100 year old building. And for Kepra, one of the main things we focus on is social capital. We believe that relationships are the greatest resource that entrepreneurs, that a community has. So we want to provide a space to allow community to come together to build relationships, genuine relationships around depth and connection. Educating people about entrepreneurship is a critical service for Kepra. Over the last five years, the organization formalized curriculum and created the Alchemy Incubator Program. The Alchemy Program is not like a typical entrepreneurial incubator or accelerator. It's definitely a big opportunity for people to learn about community wealth building and how you can solve your own community's problems. Kasmin Ramos started her business Seeking 1610 with help from the Alchemy Program last fall. Her goal is to help connect Hoosiers to affordable housing. The weird thing about affordable housing is that there isn't a lot of it, but it's also very difficult to find. Indianapolis mother of three, Lakaya Muhammad, is also benefiting from the Alchemy program. Entrepreneurs who are starting out don't have many resources. Before starting her business, Earthly Clean Products, she was working long hours away from her kids. So my household duties and my children were being neglected and I was depressed. So I literally start praying and asking God like to give me something so I could quit my job. We have here what it used to look like. So just to see um, the evolution. Like she that. says the Alchemy program helped her in many different ways. Her products are now in a local grocery store. I was able to scale up in my business and apply for trademarking. After the Alchemy program, I met an amazing business coach. She helped me to market better and create better content. Not only is this beneficial for entrepreneurs of color, but I think there's a lot of people who are in the workforce, whether they're entering the workforce or leaving the workforce, that are looking for a different experience about what does it mean to be a part of something. And soon the community will have a chance to be a part of something. Bringing the Concord building back to life is something Muhammad believes is needed. Especially in that area, it's necessary to lift the morale of it, lift the energy of it. The goal is to have the building renovated and open next year. And you meant, you heard me mention how those businesses, they're working to solve issues in the community, like with affordable housing. So that's a big goal. I feel like this is a win-win-win situation mm -hmm. for the building itself, uh, for those businesses and people that get to network with each other as well. Yes, and they said that the community members wanted a resource and they're going to get a resource. So. That's good to see. Great yes. story there, too. Definitely.